In this video, I'll show you how to add the C Sharp AWS SDK for client services in your Unity project. Client services is what AWS calls the SDK that is needed to communicate with your custom GameLift server. You'll likely be using this to create or start game sessions, place players into the game, and describe game sessions, etc. I originally wanted to show you the headache I went through to get this all working, but it's probably better I just get to the point, which is still going to take some work. After some AWS documentation dead ends, dead links, and googling, I found this article. When you get to the bottom of this .NET piece on integrating AWS for gaming, it states that Unity requires some special workaround. Okay, so let's check it out. Upon further inspection of this write-up, it doesn't really yield anything too helpful or I just completely missed something. So after some more googling, I found this documentation. The first bullet point says we need the .NET assemblies and manually add them to the project. The second one talks about support for IL2 CPP, which I won't be covering here. So click on the download and extract zip files. Under the section with the same name, see the notes section, click that link there. Finally, some actual download links. Use the net standard 2.0 zip link. Once you have that downloaded and unzipped, you'll notice that it's just a bunch of AWS DLLs. You only need the ones that you're going to use in your project. So at a minimum, you'll need to add the AWS SDK core and GameLift DLLs to your plugins folder in Unity. And just when you think you're done, you get a compiler error. If you don't get this error, well, something magical has happened, or maybe you're using a different SDK version or something, but just make sure you have access to the Amazon APIs in your project. For the rest of us, let's see how to fix this issue. I found this GitHub issue where Squidbot talks about how to resolve this problem. In short, you have to manually install the missing packages with NuGet in Visual Studio and add the DLLs alongside the SDK DLLs. So go ahead and open up the .sln Visual Studio project. Under the project menu, select manage NuGet packages. Enter in the missing package name microsoft.bcl.async interfaces. Select it and hit add package. The project will build and generate the DLLs needed to fix the Unity project. There are three drivers you need. Drill down into each one under lib, then netstandard 2.0. Bring all of those over into the Unity plugins folder. And you can delete those package folders after you get the DLLs in place. At this point, your project should have access to the Amazon APIs. If you still don't, it may be the IntelliSense that is broken. So let's just check by running the project. As you can see, it actually doesn't complain, so it's probably just a path issue. Open the project's assembly-c-sharp file. Just copy-paste one of these and make sure the hint path links to where you just added the above DLLs. Check the editor to see if it picks it up. And as you can see, the Amazon core is there. Let's go back and do the game lift one now. Give it a second, and there you go. We can now see that our IntelliSense can find the SDK. I had to do this for each SDK DLL that I added. If you have a better way to fix this, or really anything I covered here, please let me know in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, so that should get you started for your Unity client service. Thanks for watching.